Did you know that one small human decision can lead to a global catastrophe? Or that even the smallest animals can have a huge impact on the lives of other species? Today, we're going to explore one of the most remarkable stories that began with three ordinary goats and led to monumental changes in the Galapagos Islands. Welcome to the Wild World Channel. Today, we'll uncover how the slightest human intervention in nature resulted in unpredictable consequences and the extraordinary lengths people went to in order to rectify this mistake. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive in. The Galapagos Islands are one of the best places on Earth for observing wildlife. There's an abundance of it here. An amusing fact is that Galapagos translates from Spanish as saddles. When Spanish sailors first arrived at these islands, they noticed that the local turtles had an unusual shell shape resembling a horse's saddle. These amazing creatures and their unique appearance gave the entire archipelago its name. The vegetation here is also incredibly diverse. The islands are located in the eastern equatorial part of the Pacific Ocean. When Charles Darwin was developing his theory of evolution, this place served as a practical guide for him. The islands are home to several animal species that are found nowhere else on Earth. A notable example is the giant tortoise, also known as the Galapagos tortoise. These majestic creatures, however, once faced a severe threat from a most unexpected source, common goats introduced to the islands by humans. Originally, goats were brought to the islands by sailors, fishermen, or traders for temporary grazing and were supposed to be taken back. This practice continued for decades until a fateful decision in 1959 changed the ecological balance of the islands. Fishermen from Spain, perhaps without foreseeing the consequences, decided to leave a small number of goats on the island permanently. A seemingly insignificant decision led to unforeseen ecological ramifications. The goats, left to their own devices, began to reproduce at an alarming rate, soon spreading across the entire island. In just 14 years, their population soared to 30,000, and within 30 years, it exploded to a staggering 250,000, all from the initial few. This rapid population growth turned into an ecological nightmare. The goat's insatiable appetite led to overgrazing, drastically altering the island's landscape and threatening the survival of native species. As the goats devoured the vegetation, other animals, particularly the endemic giant tortoises, began to suffer from a severe shortage of food. These tortoises primarily feed on certain types of cacti, which the goats also consumed voraciously. The rapid depletion of this essential food source led to a significant decline in the tortoise population. Faced with the potential loss of unique species exclusive to the Galapagos, biologists and conservationists were alarmed. An ecological disaster was on the horizon, and urgent action was needed to save the island's delicate ecosystem. The challenge was not just to stop the destruction, but to do so in a manner that would restore the natural balance. A variety of strategies were proposed to deal with the burgeoning goat population. Among the more outlandish suggestions was the introduction of predators like lions to control the goats. However, this idea raised further questions about managing the introduced predators afterward. Ultimately, a more direct approach was chosen. Teams of hunters, equipped with firearms and accompanied by dogs, were dispatched to the islands. In some cases, they even used helicopters with onboard snipers, adopting tactics reminiscent of anti-terrorist operations. The mission was clear, to drastically reduce the goat population to prevent further ecological damage. The goats, however, quickly adapted to these hunting methods. They learned to associate the sound of helicopter blades with danger and began to hide, making it increasingly difficult for the hunters to find them. At this point, about 10% of the goats remained on the island. This number might not seem significant, but considering the rapid population growth from just three goats to a quarter of a million, there was no room for complacency. The risk of the population rebounding was too great to ignore. Thus, a more innovative strategy was employed. In a unique twist of fate, the hunters turned to using the goats themselves to solve the problem. They would capture a wild female goat, equip her with a GPS beacon, sterilize her, and then release her back into the wild. 
These goats, known as Judas goats, played a crucial role in the operation. Being social animals, they naturally sought out other goats, leading the hunters directly to the remaining populations. This ingenious strategy, though time-consuming and labor-intensive, was highly effective. The hunters could systematically track down and eliminate the remaining goats, significantly reducing their numbers. This operation, named Project Isabella, marked a turning point in the battle to save the Galapagos ecosystem. The giant tortoises, once on the brink of starvation, began to thrive again as their food sources recovered. The Isabella Project stands as a testament to the lengths humans will go to correct their mistakes and protect the natural world. It remains the most extensive ecosystem restoration project ever undertaken, a monumental effort that spanned years and cost millions of dollars. Reflecting on this arduous journey to save the Galapagos tortoises, it's astonishing to think that these creatures, which had no natural predators on the islands, were once so perilously close to extinction due to human intervention. The story of the Galapagos is a stark reminder of the delicate balance of our ecosystems and the profound impact human actions can have on them. The Isabella Project became not only the largest of its kind, but also one of the most controversial and contentious. After all, it was a real goat genocide. People tried to achieve their goal by any means, and as you can see, they succeeded. It took a lot of effort, but who is to blame when you remember how goats first appeared on the Galapagos Islands? If you like this video, don't be lazy to rate it. Write in the comments if I missed anything. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on notifications. See you soon.